While investors have been waiting for a recession to hit for the better part of the last year and a half, markets have remained strong. The Dow as well as the S&P 500 are nearing all-time highs. So is it possible that this is just the calm before the storm? Let's welcome in Reese Williams, Spouting Rock Asset Management Chief Strategist. Reese, good to see you. Listen, the market has enjoyed a strong rally here. You think, you know, too fast, too much, Reese, or does it make sense to you And we continue the good times right into 2024? Our base case is we're going to continue into 2024. However, this has been you know, a strong, strong month and a, and a couple of very strong months. Uh, so some sort of pause here in January would not be a surprise. But we do think it does appear that the possibility that we have a uh, we have low inflation and no recession in 2024 could stimulate the market broadening and stocks to do fairly well. You know, we keep talking about how we're flirting with record levels for the S&P 500, Reese. Do you think, I mean, we're not far from there, but do you think we're going to get there? And then does that run keep going? I do. And I think the biggest reason um, that I'm excited about the market is is just the power of AI. And I remember 1994 and 1995, the last time uh, interest rates were had, were, were had been risen dramatically and no recession occurred. And then the reason for that really was the power of, of Cisco technology with the client server technology and then the internet. So that start, uh, had a productivity boom, which allowed for a really strong economy, really strong stock market. And as I remember, when we exited the 1990s, we even had a government budget uh, surplus. Um, so uh, you know, I do think that is a possibility, a certainly a strong possibility, that we're going to have another sort of AI-led productivity boom over the next couple of years. And Reese, you know, more in the near term too, we have this other potential catalyst for the market here. We got earnings season coming up pretty quickly here. What are your expectations there? On earnings, I'm a little less um, uh, sure. And, and, and the reason is if you look at the earnings reports over the last three or four weeks, they've largely been negative. Um, this rally has not been an earnings driven rally. It has been an interest rate driven rally as we have seen uh, the consensus go from interest rates are gonna go higher at the end of October to, to, to interest rates are gonna be here or go lower now. So we've gone from the 10 year from 5% to 3.9%. But if you look at FedEx, you look at Nike, uh, you look at Steelcase, you look at um, uh, Winnebago, Everybody has been lowering numbers a little bit. MasterCard uh, uh, announced that their sales were going to be a little bit lighter than they had expected uh, for December.